name is Christine Truman. I am a contemporary painter and we're here today in the QFT to talk about my exhibition. Okay, these are some of the paintings that I would be better known for producing. They are um, inspired by the 85th anniversary of the Oscars and they're iconic images from the golden era of Hollywood. These particular ones are very loose style paintings. They're sort of a pop art influence but they're heavily textured and um, have bits and pieces of glitter and bling and all sorts stuck to them. The first one here is Marilyn Monroe. Um, obviously you can't get more of an iconic image than that. Um, it's very heavily textured and then there's just little trinkets and things put in that remind me or I can relate to Marilyn and her career. The next one is Mar Marlena Dietrich. Um, it, she's just got such a strong face. It's actually my personal favourite. It has little bits in it that playing cards and dice that represent Las Vegas because she spent a lot of time there as a Vegas showgirl. Next one is Lauren Bacall. Um, we have a Humphrey Bogart here so we had to have his wife here because we couldn't have him surrounded by all these beautiful women and her not keep an eye on things. So she is originally from New York and has just little hints of New York on it. There's a little yellow taxi cab on her shoulder that you can just about see and a big red apple. Okay, the last one here um, is Cary Grant. Um, he's the only male that I've done in this style and I'm not used to doing males at all. So it was a bit of a, an experiment for me and I didn't know how he was going to go down with the glitter and the bright colours, but I'm quite happy with how he's turned out. There's two very distinctive styles here. This style really is influenced by the this exhibition that was sort of they, they were an experiment for me really that sort of kicked off the exhibition and they're based on the posters the movie posters of the day so they're very the, the images were taken right back and very stylized almost as if they'd been printed in just two or three colors which was very time consuming actually now I wish I had printed them in two or three colors and um, but I wanted to give them a bit of color uh, because the, the the original images were black and white so I've added very contrived skin tones and with the, the ladies in particular, I've tried to give them a bit of a voice because they were kind of stifled in their day. So I've really put a lot of emphasis on their mouths and made them a wee bit more lifelike. With Humphrey Bogart here, it's his eyes because he's really recognised for his eyes and that dark, moody, brooding look that he gives. I think uh, the whole studio system in the day, the days of um, the golden era of Hollywood, even the directors weren't seen as artists. Everyone was employees of the studio. Um, the studios even owned the cinemas of the day, so they just had the movies sort of reeled out. There was a, a schedule and they were sort of mass produced. All the artists belonged to particular studios and then they were paired up at, in different sort of mixes. They had no say really in what scripts that they did, what characters they played. The men were allowed to add a little bit, especially the likes of Cary Grant, but uh, who's very good at that. But I'd say for the women especially, it was really, you know, you came in, you did your job, you did what you were told and you left. Well, this is my first solo show. I have done uh, various um, mixed shows before, but I've never really had the time or the inclination, <laughs> the nerve, to put a collection together and have a solo show, so I've just decided to bite the bullet and, and test the water and see how it goes.